Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today's build box tip is about active connection modes. So, I always have trouble figuring out which one is supposed to be the um, in in the engineering or coding they call it master slave. I I always forget, and I've found a way that I literally just say it out loud now. Um, but here, so let's go ahead and delete these, delete these, delete this, and this. And so, there we go. Um, I think I have these all. Okay, so what I do is I, I'll literally just say, I'll be like master and then slave. And so then you'll know that this one is the slave. So the first one that you can click is the master and then the second is the slave. So easy way to just get that flowing in your mind, but there's more. So when you have all these active connections, um, sometimes it's just like super difficult to uh, select a certain one because there's so many and when you try to select one, you're literally just like moving. So right now I want to move this one over, uh, but like I go to click it and like, it's just giving me a headache and like, it's, so that was kind of close and quickly this will get you frustrated. So what you do is, uh, let me go ahead and move this. To the, oh no, let's put that back. So, what I found is the best way is select what you want, which is in this case, this, this guy, and then make sure you have it. So you see how everything is moving. So if I move it back, now it's selected. Now I hit the alt button and then you can just move it individually. You can zoom up. If I just want this one, I don't know, so right now it's the orange circle. Oh no, something's going on. Orange circle. So this is the character. I just want the character. I select it and then hit the Alt button. Just want this one, select it. And then this way you can get super close and get the one you want. Pretty cool, huh? And so no matter how many different active connection modes you have, all you need to do is select the one that you want, even if they're all overlapping each other, select it, press the Alt button, select it, press the Alt button, and then that's the one you move. So that's my quick tip. I've been using it all the time, and I hope that's helpful.